In this lesson, we're going to learn how to build a hinge door in Roblox. As you can see here, I have a rectangular part and I named that door number two. So that's going to be my door. And I have another rectangular part and I call it wall two. That's going to be my wall. So to build a hinge door, I'm going to go to my model tab menu. And I'm going to go to the constraints section here. And I'm going to add a hinge constraint. So I click on that. Now I'm going to go to my wall. I'm going to click on one side of the wall. And I'm going to go to the other side on the door. And I'm going to click on the side of the door. So as you can see, now I have a hinge constraint here and I have two different attachment attachment one and attachment zero so attachment one is on the door attachment zero is on the wall next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select attachment one and I'm gonna need to rotate it because I want to show you again you see um, the, the the hinge right now is staying hor hor horizontally right so I want to turn that and make it stand it up ver vertically so I'm gonna select on I'm gonna select my attachment one and I'm gonna go click on rotate and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees right and I'm going to do the same thing to attachment zero. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, if I click on my hinge constraint again, you can see my attachments, the standing vertically, right? Um, so that's all you need to do. Um, let's move the door back. And now we can run to test. So here I have my door, and if I push it, you can see it's it's attached to the wall, but it goes through the wall. Once again, I push it, it's attached to the wall, but it goes through the wall. And the reason for that is because when you use hinge constraint, the collision is automatically turned off. So let's see how we can fix that. Let's go back to the code. To fix that, let's click on the hinge constraint here and go to your properties window. Go all the way down near, near the bottom and you're going to click on limits enable. So that box right now is unchecked. I'm going to put a check in that. And then I go down here. I can set my, my angles here, right? So you can set any numbers you want for the lower and upper angle. They don't have to be the same number. So I'm going to choose maybe 150 and 140 here. All right. And the restitu restitution here is the bounce. So that's that means how much you want the door to bounce back when it hits the uh, the limit, right? Um, let, let's see what happens if we leave it at zero for now. So right now, let's leave the uh, restitution at zero. Let's play and test. You see the limit stop the door from going through the wall. And there is no bounce right now because the restitution is set at zero. So once it hits the limit, it stops. Now let's go back to the code and 
let's see, uh, let's try a 0.7 for the restitution. And let's go back to the game. Press play again. Now you should have a nice bounce. When the door hits the limit, it should bounce back. Sometimes the door can be a little sticky at first. There it goes, bounce back and it hits me. You see the door bounces back? All right, so that's how you build a hinge door in Roblox.